being born again, breaking away, renewed standard beauty. What's your definition? Good hair, the lighter, the brighter, the better? Is it to survive, to keep your job, to keep your man? But it's your wool, beautiful. Nine billion to keep you fooled. Sodium hydroxide to burn it through. Killing your roots. Okay, ladies. I'm eating some watermelon, y'all. Listen, I'm a country girl. I love watermelon. Okay. I'm a healthy. <laughs> country girl. I, I actually, you guys, um, I am trying to lose a little bit of weight. Now, um, I'm going to show you guys, I'm going to post up my pictures of me in the gym. I'm not really that big, but I have a few areas, a few spots that I need to, to tone it up and, and tighten it up. Like in my arms, I really got to get a little bit tighter up in here. Yes, I have some muscle, you know, I can make a muscle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cause I do lift a little bit of weights. But it's just not, it's not tight like it needs to be. It needs to be tight and, you know, really defined where, you know, I'm, I'm starting to develop a little something there, but it's not enough. I, I, I want to be toned and tightened, and I like my stomach to be toned and tightened too, but I'm going to give you guys an update on that and actually tell you, you know, what I'm doing um, real soon. Hold on, let me, the um, lighting was just doing something weird. Um, but I'm, I'm going to give you guys um, some updates on that in a few minutes. Um, I'm going to do a second video because I have some stuff on my blog that I need to update and put that here. So that's good, y'all. So let me jump right into the purses, okay? I promise you I'm going to finish eating this top smack. That's my refrigerator, y'all. You see all our little Hebrew stuff on the refrigerator. So if people come by and they happen to be in the kitchen, we have plenty of stuff for them to read and find out that they're Hebrew Israelites. Thank you and goodbye. Okay, so all my stuff is down here on the floor. Terrible, it's terrible. Okay, so this purse is actually the purse that I will be carrying today. Um, so you can see it has a couple pockets. It's and the front of it has this velvety design with um, this sort of up and down design. And then the back of it is solid. Okay. And it has sort of that double flap thing going on. Okay. This, um, and it does have the long straps. So you can carry it with the long strap. Or you can just tuck the straps in and carry it. Um, the typical way. Um, I love this purse. I got this purse from Tarjay. <laughs> I got it from Tarjay. And I love this purse. It's just simple. It's easy. It's just a little cute velvety purse. It just does its own thing. And I really, really like that about this purse. Um, so, next. This is my other everyday person. You can see I haven't even taken everything out of this one yet and switched it to the other one. This is my other everyday purse. This is an old school Kenneth Cole reaction purse. It has the large um, belts and you'll see that it says Kenneth Cole reaction on the, the belt as well. This is 1990s all day long. Okay.
90s style. Um, as soon as I saw it, I knew I had to have it. It just gave me a whole 1990s vibe, and I love it. Um, it's got three pockets here in the front. These are real pockets. These are not fake pockets. Um, and then the zip-up pocket here, these two are regular. And then it has one large opening in the middle. And I got stuff in here, so I'm not going to show you that. But basically, it's one big opening in the middle. Okay? And you can see where the hoop goes through, just like that there. So... You just zip it up. And so it's got the little metal hardware on the end. Um, I believe that you could pop those off if you just wanted to carry this as a pouch and not as a um, not as a purse. You could also um, wrap this around the waist and carry it like a little bag. But I usually just carry it as a purse. This is my favorite go-to purse. Love it, love it, love it. It gives off such 1990s vibe. Um, but I pretty much wear this almost pretty much every day during the summer. I Not even almost. I, I wear it every day during the summer um, because I have so much stuff that goes with it. Now, that will probably stop happening, though. I think maybe like... Um, next year next season i will probably be wearing this more so in the winter because i have a lot of black stuff a lot of grays um rose pinks and stuff that i'm going to be wearing for the winter and this would look really good with that stuff so i'm going to switch this out and probably transition it to a winter item but it is still my favorite purse okay it is still by far my favorite i am going to bring the lighting up just a little bit because i notice as i pick up the purses it you know, the lighting changes. You guys, I'm, listen, I think I said it in the update before that I was going to start getting things a little bit better and working on lighting. I just ordered a brand new ring light. So this is going to be fixed. All of this that happens every time I move is going to be fixed. Okay, so just hang in there. It's going to be here soon in a couple days. Hey. 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 <laughs> so I'm going to get the quality better, okay? So just hang in there with me. You know, I told you step-by-step -step process. I think I said this in the video, but I'm not sure if I posted that video yet. I might need to post the update before I post this video. Okay. So this is another one of my babies. Um, This is a, what is this purse called? Okay. I can't pronounce it. I don't know if it's Italian. I don't know what it is. T-I-G-N-A-N-E-L-L-O. If you know how to pronounce that, please help us with that. Because I don't know. But I wear this purse generally in the winter is when you're going to see this. I don't know how much use I'm going to get out of this purse this winter because I don't have a lot of navy blues. My navy blue has really been implemented into my autumn wardrobe. So, now that I think about it, I might be um, going back and forth between wearing this purse and wearing the Michael Kors purse. Um, this is, this bag, when I looked it up, because I thrifted this bag, I don't know if I just said that, but I thrifted the bag, and, um, it was in perfect condition, as you can see, it is still in perfect condition, because I really don't tear my stuff up, um, it's got one zipper on the side, now, uh, sometimes I stuff my bags, I try to do it quite often to keep my bags from getting messed up, but in the inside, it has this really pretty sort of plaid, um, design so it's got a pocket here it has a pocket here and then it has this middle section um, and it does have a zipper inside of that middle section there's another section that's a zipper but beautiful beautiful design inside the purse so as soon as I saw this and then saw the little metal detailing on the ends that keeps the purse from getting scratched up I just knew that this was a good, good quality purse to have, and I knew it was one of those pieces that would last. I know that I do wear navy blue quite a bit with a lot of, you know, other stuff. Like today, I have on navy blue with the burgundy. You guys saw that. So, um, not burgundy, but this is sort of like a rust. But anyway, you. So 
I wear navy blue, so um, I really wanted something that was durable. This bag is really durable. It even has little pieces here on the bottom to keep it from, you know, messing up when you sit it down somewhere. So I just was like, I got to get this bag, and I was in the thrift store and spotted this bag in perfect condition. And I think people were passing over it because it has sort of a vintage look to it. Um, it's kind of like old school, but this is a nice bag. Um, can't wait to wear that, but definitely, because, you know, last year I was wearing that in the winter. This year, it probably will become an item that I wear in the fall, so that's different. I didn't, wasn't, I didn't think about that until just now. Um, so, my prize possession, which you guys are going to see, because I just thrifted this item. You guys are going to see it in the autumn collection once again, but I'm going to go ahead and give you a sneak peek. This bag right here, beautiful. Street Empire, the legendary. And I already know I'm going to be able to wear this all year long. Let me tell you why. I know that it looks like a summer bag, right? And I know your thoughts are, well, that's more so a bag that you're going to wear during the summer. Or maybe autumn, but probably the summer. Yes, I'm going to wear it during the summer. I'm going to wear it in autumn, too. But I'm also going to get wear out of this in the winter. Okay. All white. Just imagine. Okay. Turtleneck sweater. Puffy. Big. One of those sweaters that you just listen. I love sweaters. I am a sweater girl. So one of those big puffy sweaters with the turtleneck. Lots of um, um, texture to it. And then a sheer blousy skirt. And I'm going to show you guys this because I actually pretty much have this same outfit. But in some of the details I'm embellishing because I have other ideas of sweaters that I'm planning on buying. So flowy chiffon skirt in white or in pink. Either one of those would do. Now we're thinking about this for the winter, right? Beautiful boots. Maybe in, in the same sort of wood tone. And then throw this purse on with it. I just believe. I just believe. Or even if I had a gold metallic chiffon skirt. Like some of the ones that you have seen Karen Britchick wear. Oh, if you watch YouTube a lot. And you've probably watched Karen Britchick. She has a beautiful style. And I like some of the pieces that she wears. Now, me being a modest girl, there are some things that I would not wear the same way. But a lot of what she wears, I would wear and just do it my way. Um, but she has this metallic skirt. It's like a gold metallic. It is gorgeous. Oh, my goodness. Could you imagine a metallic skirt with this and then a big, beautiful sweater? Yes. Yes. So I have, I have this purse running through my dreams, thinking about how I could wear this. And I could see wearing this in the summer. I could see wearing it during the autumn. I could see wearing it um, spring. I could see wearing it in the winter, just depending on how you choose to do it. So I feel like I'm going to get a lot of use out of this purse. And I am definitely one of those people that I want to get a lot of use out of whatever I purchase. Because it's kind of like, what's, what's the point? You know, excuse me. <laughs> I went to go work out this morning, so I'm hungry. But um, it's like, what's the point if it's not, if you're not going to get any use out of it, right? So anyways, you guys, I shall see you later. Thank you so much for joining me. I will have more videos where that one comes from. And I hope to see you soon. Shalom. Oh. Guess what? Your time is valuable to me, and thank you for spending your time with me. Shalom. This is Lamar and Carney Israel and all the brothers that's pushing this truth. And um, this song is called Israelite Man. Okay. We're going to wait for the mic. One, two. One, two. There you go. <laughs> How y'all doing, Vortex? <laughs> Israel! <laughs> yes, sir!
praise them. I don't know how you do it, but I'm so grateful for any.